Welcome back to Irwindale, California, where it's been a long and exciting night of racing. A couple of wild finishes, a wild start to the late model race, and now 52 super late models are going to take to the track. Mike Joy, Phil Parsons with you. Trevor Bain joins us after a fine second place finish in the showdown to uh, Matt Kobaluk in the Camping World Series. What a wild night for you. It was crazy. I'm telling you, there was uh, carnage everywhere. I mean, we were dodging wrecks left and right and uh, had to come from the rear a few times. So those three wide battles were going crazy. Your car looked really, really good. And you were fighting up front the, the entire race and you got got to got taken out a little bit and you had to fight from a lap down and fought your way back all the way to second. Yeah, I mean, um, we, we thought we had the best car on the racetrack there for the first hundred laps. We were kind of riding around um, us and Eichler in the 15 car. Um, he had a great car, too, and we were just, you know, clean racing us, him, Eric Holmes, uh, having a fun time. And, you know, that break, uh, we were all talking about it, laughing, and then uh, our party got spoiled there for a little while. Um, had a big pile up over here in turn four and um, had to fight our way back after that. You're 17. You're a Dale Earnhardt Incorporated development driver. you got a bright future ahead of you, but now with the economy, that program has pr kind of come to an end, at least for now. What's on your horizon? Yeah, I mean, look at these cup teams, and I mean, a lot of them are struggling right now. So, um, I mean, we're, we're trying to find whatever we can, whether it's a full-time market deal, um, one-off nationwide races, whatever. You know, our doors are open. Um, DEI, they're wanting to keep me on board and let me go race. Um, you know, they're wanting to work with us because, I mean, we would like to be the future of that company in a couple of years. You're getting ready to have another birthday here in another month or so. Oh, yeah, February 19th. We'll be 18, and uh, then we can go super speedway racing. <laughs> All right. Well, we look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Stick around for us a little bit. We'll, uh, we'll watch these super late models and see how they fare. Sounds good to me. Jim? Nick Jonitis have a few less cars to pass. They lined up the Super Lates on points, but the points champion this year earned it with 10 victories, and it all goes back to 1995 for Nick Jonitis. He had a horrific crash at Mesa Marin Raceway, had severe burns, over 40 surgeries. They said, you're out of anything for six months. He was back in a race car in 30 days. He and team owner Lloyd McGee in 07 said, let's try to win both championships. In grand style, 10 wins this year to the champion in Super Lates, second in limited lates or late models in what is only his third full season of running for points since that injury. Dick? You've heard stories about driver crew chief combinations before, but never one like this. David Beat drives car number six, and his crew chief, Kevin Clark, needed a kidney transplant a year and a half ago. So a driver went in and got tested, and sure enough, they had a match. They both went in the hospital, and David Beat gave one of his kidneys to his crew chief. Tonight, they start 11th. That's an amazing story. How about that? It says, pick your part on the side of the car. We don't have pick your part back east uh -uh, uh -uh. so much. I guess out in California, there are a lot of auto recycling centers, what we used to call junkyards, like that, where you go in with a wagon in your toolbox and you pick your parts. Here's how they line up. Nick Janitis on the pole. Now here, the first 20 positions are set from the point standings at Irwindale Speedway from 2008. That's why Travis Zerkettle shares the front row. There's David Beat in 11th. So the first 20 are drivers who finished in the top 30 in points. See David Gillen back starting in the 27th position. Sprint Cup driver David Gillen, the same one. Augie Vidovich, you had a great run going tonight. Right. Had trouble real late. Positions 21 through 40 were determined by the what hill you drew in the qualifying draw. So that gets us down to 40. That left 12 drivers like Ron Hornaday and Rip Michaels, who's won everything at this track there is to win, who would have had to go home. So they said, let them all run. Let them all run. Let them all run. 52 cars. This could be big. This race will go 30 minutes. It's scheduled for 150 laps. But they will run this race to a 30 minute time limit, is what NASCAR officials have told us. Let's see how they fare. Travis Thurkettle on the outside and Nick Janitis to get this party started. Green flag. Thurkettle had a hard time getting going on the outside, spun the tires. Janitis able to open up a pretty good cushion on him through the first and second corners. Backstretch, pile up. Lots of them. Oh, they're still piling in there. Boy, that, that got ugly in a hurry. Wow, completely blocked the racetrack. 
Trevor, it's a nice wide racetrack. You can race here four wide, but when one car gets sideways, looks like it narrows up in a hurry there. I'm telling you what, there's about uh, 10 cars piled up together on the backstretch there. There was nowhere to go for some of those guys. Um, I mean, it's, it's a fun racetrack, but man, it clogged up in a hurry there. There are still Oh, probably 10 out of the 52 cars. Yeah. That are I see Hornady made it there. back to the start finish line, so he made it through that. Very quick work by the track crew to make sure that everybody is OK. And signaling such back to the tower. To Augie Vidovich, the 59, jump out of his car right quick. There's the 12 left of your screen, Rip Michaels. Former champion here. And all of this counts against what is going to be the 30 minute time limit for uh, for this race. There's Augie Vidovich right there. He was driving the 59 car that was involved in that incident. 47 comes to the pit lane, Derek Becker and the 98 of Ricky McRae Jr. They won't get to work on these cars because the red flag is being displayed. Fifty two started forty some will be able to restart. We'll give you a quick look at this as we go to break. We'll be right back for the NASCAR Toyota All Star Showdown. Watch this is going to hurt. 